Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today again is another SCCM 2007 uh, video, and I'm going to be showing you guys an incoming videos plus this one um, OSD. OSD is Operating System Deployment. It's a huge, huge thing with SCCM 2007 as well as 2012, and when you do research on this online it's really I don't know it's I don't know it's really out there they don't really give you the information that you're looking for for me I was looking for some information on how to deploy an operating system to a machine that I just took out the box and I want to place it on my network pixie boot it push a plain operating system with packages and I'm done uh, a lot of the sites that I went to it basically said that you have to do a computer uh, computer association a MAC address and this and this look I didn't want that so I'm gonna show you guys how to get all that stuff up and running the way I did it okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to deploy an operating system so I'm gonna get into my I already got into my computer my computer management uh, we're gonna go into your operating system deployment because this is where all the magic is at now Boot images. The first thing that you want to do is boot images. I don't like touching these two guys. So what I like to do is make copies of it and have you know just a copy of it. So the reason why is because if something happens to your original boot images, you're pretty screwed. And you don't want that to happen. So I am actually going to my site because you need to have a UFC path for this and it located inside your OSD and I need to I'm gonna do the 86 first okay copy that browse it and I want this and that's what I want and I'm gonna give it a name let's go with uh, SCCM 86 boot image okay and then I want to do is I'm going to make a copy of that give it a version of 1.0 and I'm basically show you why I made a copy of it while that's doing its thing I'm going to go back and do the 64 bit one I'm gonna open up notepad paste this bad boy because I'm definitely gonna be needing that and I'm gonna copy this because again we gotta add the 64 bit and again the only reason that I'm actually doing this is because I don't like touching the original boot images because you always have the chance of someone deleting it it's getting corrupt and you're you're screwed you know because then you lose your original boot images so I like to actually make a copy of them and reuse them and rename them okay so that's good and let's do the 64 bit one so it's the same process guys add an image I'm gonna point it to the 64 remember that uh, paste that I did point to that boot whim image that's great hit next gonna go back into my little notepad and I want I try to keep everything consistent with the naming 64 1.0 hit next next and I'm going to close this don't save okay so it's completed so we're gonna close that up so now we got our boot images and that's looking pretty sweet I'm happy on that we don't have yeah that's okay so one thing I like to do for testing purposes is I like to go into my boot images and enable the command support because that allows you when something's happening you could press F8 during the boot process which I'm gonna show you guys later on in the video and uh, you can actually troubleshoot so I'm gonna press yes and it's going to update the boot image okay so that's completed and we're gonna do the same thing with 
the 86 boot so right click and go to properties and windows PE and then we're going to enable press apply and press yes hit next okay so that's completed we're gonna press close and okay on that so we're good to go with our boot images